Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed, made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. We are gathered in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Coming together as God's family, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. All together we say, I confess, I confess to Almighty God and to, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We, we praise, praise you, we bless, bless you, we adore you, we, we glorify you, you. We, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, God heavenly King, King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone, you alone are, the are the Most High, high Jesus, Jesus Christ, Christ with, with the Holy Spirit, in the, in the glory of God the Father. Father. Amen. 
Let us pray. O God, who taught the whole world through the preaching of the blessed Apostle Paul, draw us, we pray, nearer to you, to the example of him whose conversion we celebrate today, and so make us witnesses to your truths in the world. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Paul addressed the people in these words, I am a Jew, born in Tarsus, in Cilicia, but brought up in this city. At the feet of Gamaliel, I was educated strictly in our ancestral law and was zealous for God, just as all of you are today. I persecuted this way to death, binding both men and women and delivering them to prison. Even the high priest and the whole council of elders can testify on my behalf. For from them, I even received letters to the brothers and set out for Damascus to bring back to Jerusalem in chains for punishment those there as well. On that journey, as I drew near Damascus, about noon, a great light from the sky suddenly shone around me. I fell to the ground and heard a voice saying to me, Soul, soul, why are you persecuting me? I replied, Who are you, sir? And he said to me, I am Jesus, the Nazarene, whom you are persecuting. My companion saw the light, but did not hear the voice of the one who spoke to me. I asked, What shall I do, sir? The Lord answered me, Get up and go into Damascus, and there you will be told about everything appointed for you to do. Since I could see nothing because of the brightness of the light, I was led by hand by my companions and entered Damascus. I ascertain Ananias, a devout observer of the law and highly spoken of all or by all the Jews who live there, came to me and stood there and said, Saul, my brother, regain your sight and at that very moment i regained my sight and saw him then he said the god of our ancestors designated you to know his will to see the righteous one and to hear the sound of his voice for you will be his witness before all to what you have seen and heard now, why delay? Get up and have yourself baptized and your sins wash away, calling upon his name. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Go out to all the world and tell the good news. Go out to all the world and tell the good news. Praise the Lord, all you nations. Glorify Him, all you peoples. Go out to all the world and tell the good news. For steadfast is His kindness toward us, and the fidelity of the Lord endures forever. Go out to all the world and tell the good news. Please stand. Hallelujah, I wait for 
the Lord. My soul awaits for His word. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A proclamation from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus appeared to the eleven and said to them, Go into the whole world and proclaim the gospel to every creature. Whoever believes and is baptized will be saved, and whoever does not believe will be condemned. These signs will accompany those who believe. In my name, they will drive out demons. They will speak new languages. They will pick up serpents with their hands. And if they drink any deadly thing, it will not harm them. They will lay hands on the sick, and they will recover. My dear brothers and sisters, the good news of our salvation. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Magandang umaga po sa atin lahat. There is this saying na ang sabi ay, No man is an island. Lahat tayo ay relational being. We find comfort if we are attached no? or we can relate to someone. We can sense it through our friends, no? through our neighbors, no? through our families. And usually, how we go about improving this relation is through communication. Hindi ho ba? No? Through discussions, no? through talking, no? sa cellphone, through text, email, no? through video call. No? Pagkipag-dialogue. No? Minsan pa nga, no? nakikipag-away. No? Nakikipag-away to the point na um, kahit masakit ang sabihin mo, no? bas dahil close kayo ay okay lang no tanggap i remember pa nga this kind of movie between parang Angelica Panganiban niya tayon and JM De Guzman no? na they just met no however they had this amazing conversation along their journey towards Baguio tapos habang nagsasalita na nagsasalita no yung lalaki no parang nasaktan si yung babae, no? at ang sabi ng babae, sakit mong magsalita, ah. bakit close ba tayo? No? May ganong mga punto. No? We are aware that in these conversations, no, one could be toxic. No? In this relationship, no, while there is love, no, um, medyo challenging ito and difficult to improve. It could turn into arguments and disagreements, no? there will be frictions between two lovers. Why am I telling you this, my dear brothers and sisters? Today, we are celebrating the feast of the conversion of St. Paul. And St. Paul also had this disagreement, argument, no? in his loving relationship in his neighbor and also with God. In the first reading, we've heard the account, no, his confession, how he was converted. Siya ay isang fanatic na Jew. Fanatic na Jew to the point na inuusig niya ang mga Kristiyano dahil sa tingin niya, sila ay mga mali. No? Dahil sa tingin niya, sa kanyang conversation sa Diyos, no, sila dapat ay supilin, no? sila dapat ay dakpin. To the point na si Saul, bago ang kanyang conversion, ay naging kasangkapan pa sa pagpatay sa unang martir ng simbahan, eh? si San Saint Stephen, no? San Esteban. He so toxic that even no, in the community, ayaw sa kanya. Ayaw sa kanya. He thought that his dialogue with God, no? His conversations with God was so correct, thinking that what he was doing was right. 
And in our relationship, my dear brothers and sisters, we could also be like this. No? Sa tingin natin, tama tayo. Sa tingin natin, dapat ito yung mangyari. No? To the point that we end up in a not-so-good relationship. No? However, God did not leave Paul to remain toxic. God knows that Paul loves him. No? Mahal, alam ng Diyos na mahal ni Pablo ang Diyos. No? Why? Because he was so assiduous. No? He was so religious to the point of persecuting Christians. No? However, no, in this dialogue, no, gusto ng Diyos na ma-purify ang intention ni Pablo. And so in this feast, my dear brothers and sisters, in this Holy Mass, I guess we are invited by God how we facilitate also our relationships at times when we disagree when we are engaged in arguments and discussions. There is this quotation no, I found. It's very um, timely for our reflection. A disagreement with a toxic person will turn into an argument. And this argument will turn into a bigger problem. No? Di ba ho, pag may mga problema tayo minsan, no, nakikipagtalo tayo, pero parang walang direksyon. No? Pag nakikipagtalo tayo, mas lumalaki ang problema. Ganun ang nangyari kay Pablo. Nakikipagtalo siya. Akala niya tama siya. He was so toxic for himself and also for the people around him. But sure enough, my dear brothers and sisters, Paul has strong relationship with God. No? Hindi tayo magdududa doon. Mahal ni Pablo ang Diyos. And so with this conversation with him, no, it is because of this very love no, that Paul become toxic. That's why he thought of persecuting Christians. Hinahabol niya ang mga Kristiyano. Pero nakalimutan natin ang isang aspect ng conversation, ng dialogue. Sino ang kausap ni Pablo? Ang Diyos. No? Sin, kanino siya nakikipagtalo? Sa Diyos. Disagreement with the divine partner, that is God, will turn actually into a conversation that will lead the soul to change of behavior. Ano yung change of behavior na yun? Pagbabag mo loob. Conversion that will result to a solution. Paul eventually was converted because he kept on disagreeing with the Lord. Nagkaroon ng pagbabagong loob. Nagkaroon ng pagbabagong isip. And so, my dear brothers and sisters, no, in this Holy Mass, I guess we are invited. No? How are we relating to God? No? Paano ba tayo nakikipag-usap sa Diyos? No? Kung para sa akin, mabuti yung minsan, nakikipag-away tayo sa Kanya. Mabuti yung minsan, nakikipagtampuhan tayo sa Kanya. No? Mabuti yung minsan, we disagree with Him. We argue with Him. We discuss with Him. Dahil kung ganito ang ating style sa Kanya, ibig sabihin, close tayo. Ibig sabihin, malapit ang ating loob sa Diyos. At walang mapupuntahan ang pakikipag-diskusyon natin sa Diyos, kundi eventually sa ating pagbabagong loob. Yun naman ho ang pinakagol ng ating journey dito sa lupa. No? Ang makonfigure ang ating sarili saan? Sa daan ng Diyos. Ang patuloy na pakikipag-diskusyon sana natin sa Diyos. No? Kahit gaano man ito kasakit, 
kahit gaano man ito hindi katanggap-tanggap sa atin, no? alam natin na since we have a divine partner, we are conversing with, no? just like Paul, darating ang araw na babaguhin tayo ng Diyos sa ating mga palikong paraan. Ituturo niya sa atin ang tamang landas para maging kasangkapan rin niya tayo sa kanyang pagliligtas sa lahat. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray for the mission of the church and the needs of the world redeemed by Christ. In every prayer we say, Be gracious to your people, Lord. Be gracious to your people, Lord, that the Pope, the bishops, and priests may be zealous in preaching repentance and conversion. Let us pray to the Lord. Be gracious to your people, Lord that missionaries may have the courage to proclaim the gospel even in difficult places and circumstances. Let us pray to the Lord. Be gracious to your people, Lord, that those who are in doubt or despair may discover the eternal truth, which is Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Be gracious to your people, Lord, that the elderly, the lonely and the sick may receive the comfort of God's love in their distress. Let us pray to the Lord. Be gracious to your people, Lord, that the faithful departed may be forgiven of their sins and encounter God in his kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Be gracious to your people, Lord. Father of our Redeemer, as we write our prayers with the intercession of St. Paul, deepen the grace of conversion in our lives. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Please stand. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. As we celebrate the divine mysteries, O Lord, we pray, may the Spirit fill us with that light of faith with which he constantly enlightened the blessed Apostle Paul for the spreading of your glory through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for you have built your church to stand firm on apostolic foundations, to be a lasting sign of your holiness on earth, 
and offer all humanity your heavenly teaching. Therefore, now and for ages and ending, with all the hosts of angels, we sing to you with all our hearts, crying out as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the true fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving you thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and the resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held as worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, especially St. Paul and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, may we merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all the glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art, art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come. come. Thy, thy will be done, be done on, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and, and forgive us our trespasses, trespasses as we forgive those who trespass, trespass against, against us. And lead, and lead us, us not into temptation, temptation but, but deliver us from, from evil. evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await a blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and, and the glory are, are yours now, now and, and forever. forever. Lord Jesus Christ has said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be and with, with you always. 
and with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you, you take, take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, I am not worthy that you should enter under, under my roof, but only say, say the word, word and my soul shall be healed. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Most Holy Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. May the sacrament we have received, O Lord our God, stir up in us that fire of charity with which the blessed Apostle Paul burned ardently as he bore his concern for all the churches through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass has been ended. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your lives. Thanks be to God. Maria, 
Ina nam awa.